All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's Tragic Life here with Pokemon Yellow. It has been a month since I played this. Um, been really running that Madden 24 season simulation, um, and it's been very successful. Um, but it's time for me to start moving on this. Uh, last time we we left off in Pokemon Yellow, we were uh, going through a gauntlet on Route 11. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Give me a second. I'm on a new medication for my diabetes, and uh, had a root canal recently, so it's been a fun month. Um, I am a Miami Dolphin fan, so, um, I mean, there are positives. Um, go ahead, if you enjoy either the game, maybe my commentary, uh, my quirkiness, whatever, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment talk to me. Let's get, uh, but for the moment, let's go ahead and get going. Um, we're going to go inside here. I'm going to get the mouse off the screen. I don't know if you all can see it, but I can't even have to. Alright, so, so in here, there's someone to talk to. You catch lots of Pokemon. Isn't it hard to think up names? In Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon nicknames. He'll help you rename them too. Um, yeah, I don't name them. Uh, it's not difficult to name them. It's difficult when I name them to remember which one's named. Which one is which one based on the name. So, uh, I think this is the guy we talked to. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oaks A. If you caught 30 kinds of Pokemon, I think I have. I'm supposed to give you an item finder. So Ash, have you caught at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? Great, you have caught 32 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations. Here you go. Okay, let me give this a sip here. There were items on the ground that can't be seen. Item Finder will detect an item close to you. It can't pinpoint it, so you have to look yourself. Okay. That, that's exactly what it informs you if a hidden item is within your field. Uh, you, cool. Um, head out of the gatehouse to Route 12. Oh, so we gotta go back downstairs. Forgive me, I'm waking up. We can only explore a portion of this. Okay. Speaking of hidden items, there's a hyper potion. A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. Oh, we can't go this way. So we're going to go back to Vermilion City. We got everything we need, so let's go ahead and avoid the fights. Man, I miss this music. Oh yeah. I've been playing the uh, Mega Man collection. Um, just got to Mega Man 8. <clears throat> Mega Man 9, I mean all the other ones. Diglett's Cave. Notice Route 12 may be blocked off by a sleeping Pokemon. It deter through the rock tunnel to Lavender Town. Vermilion Police. And heal up. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, we, I think we definitely need to heal up. I think we got our butt kicked a little bit. I can remember where the healing is. Where are you healed? I think it's right here. Yes. Your Pokemon are fighting? Right. All right um, yeah, you will. I promise. It's gonna happen. Oh, excuse me. 
Alright, so now. South or west? We're gonna go ahead and cut this tree. We do it here. Who has my cut? It's been a minute. Is it Miles? No. 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 Yep. Gloom hacked away with cut. I'm, I'm making sure we have the right Pokemon ready. Uh, we do need to readjust our Pokemon a bit. No, I don't care about stats. I do care about stats, but you know what I mean. Okay, switch. We're gonna go here. Butterfree. We're actually gonna put you here. I did it again. Boy, I'm rusty, y'all. I really wanna... Well, I gotta... I'll build him up off camera. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this gym. Yo! Champion Megan! Lu Lu I'm Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. Lightning American. They should have just called him the Lightning Kid, but okay. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paral paralysis. Too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You'll have to break a code to get to him. But. Let's go this way. This is no place for kids. <sighs> okay, so in red and blue, he has two Pikachus. Um, they're exactly the same level 21. Okay, this one he has something different. He has a single Magnemite. Okay, that didn't help. It's gonna be a slow fight, unless I have something good. That was better. <sighs> this could be a slow fight, I'm sorry, guys. myself do some stuff. Alright, let's see. I know I got potions. Do I not got potions potions? Alright, let's go find number two. So in red and blue, he has a Voltorb. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. 
In red and blue, he has a twenty level two, two level twenty Voltorbs and a level twenty Magnetite. Uh, he has something different in this. All right, here we go. Probably still have the wrong character out to start, but. It is what it is. I mean, that's better. I mean, if you're just gonna screech at me, bro, we're gonna have a good day. Oops, on a boom. That hurts a bit. Don't do it again. Screech again. Thank you. Boy, he's not the smartest guy, is he? <laughs> All right. Glow Groom to level 23. Rocker is about to use another Voltorb. Will we change? Yes, we are going to go ahead and move to Weeping though. I'm out of copy. Mm. Sad. I'm gonna do the screeching thing again, bro. I missed. Yeah, that did decent. Alright, that should do it. Are you serious? Alright, we're gonna keep out Weeping Bell. No. Are you crazy? And we have a third Volt Voltor. This might hurt. We should still be good. Okay, so this last Ultra likes to attack. To do it though. <sighs> we got we beat the rocker. Fried. Alright, before we move forward, let's go ahead and use my last two heals. One more person to fight here. So in red and blue, he just has a level 23 Pikachu. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. Commanding officer, all right. 
How long ago was that, bro? <sighs> Alright, let's go do start our absorber game. I figured he'd start doing this. Do it again. Okay, so there's a lot of issues with the puzzle coming up. Got it. About to use a Magnemite. Will we change now? We're gonna keep it. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna read all of this because there's a lot of information here. Switching characters. Yep. I did not mean to use growth. Dang it. Got him. Yay! Weeping Bell is trying to learn Stun Sword, but Weeping Bell can't learn more than four moves. Delete an older move to make room for Stun Sword? Let me see what you get. Let me see. I mean, I'm not going to use it either, but. Oh well. Okay, so I'll go ahead and read a lot of this. So apparently this puzzle is supposed to be mostly luck-based. It's kind of concept. Stop! You're very good. Why would I stop? So you got all these trash cans here, right? You're supposed to check them. One of them is supposed to have something. Let's see. Let me see here. This guy's built a system for this. Okay. So, we're going to call this number 14, right? There's one more. It's got a 75% chance of being in 11 and 13. So, let me see what it is. 11, uh, so this is 13 here. This is 11. So, go. I'll show you how to count them. Go from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, tw
12, 13, 14. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. All right. Electric locks reset. So let's see. It won't be in here anymore. Oh, it's still here. There we go. Motorized door open. So apparently, um, there was some coding issues that made that puzzle very, very, very difficult um, in the originals. Uh, I think you have a No, you. Okay. Uh, the puzzle doesn't quite function as it's supposed to. I'm, I'm going to get my health back because uh, we got a master of life or something, right? Um, so when you grab it, it's supposed to leave the. When you find the first one, it's supposed to put the second one near. Okay. Um. So in the original, in the, the first one can only appear in certain trash cans. Uh, so the second one would be in different, would be an unexpected trash cans. It made it very difficult. Um, it was reworked for yellow and had a whole new set of glitches. Okay. <laughs> um, you so randomly search every trash can for the first switch, then search a random adjacent cube fan for the second switch, which is best. Um, you can also save either game before searching adjacent cans for the second switch. Uh, so the uh, the following text in relation blah 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 blah. So I think it was supposed to reset. Um, it didn't, so we got lucky. So in yellow, the first switch will always be in zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. Um, and there is now a chance for the second one to switch to appear in trash cans all around the first one you find. Six and eight are bugged to usually have the second switch appear in trash can zero. But sometimes the second switch does not generate at all. Wow. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, there's that. So let's go ahead and go uh, fight our gym leader. Okay, so it's completely different fight than red and blue. If you're playing red and blue, it's a Voltorb. He'll have a Voltorb 21, level 21 Voltorb, level 18 Pikachu, and a level 24 Raichu. In this one, he'll have something different. take a shot here guys so obviously if you've been paying attention uh, electricity doesn't hurt these two very much so that's gonna be very important because this this one has Thunderbolt which is lethal to flying I think flying and bug oh flying in water uh, okay Dig is a good move against him because you know, you know he digs and hides. Um, so we're gonna go and try this. We'll see how this works. There he is. Ten. What? Welcome to Vermilion Gym. Will you look at that? A pint-sized challenger. <laughs> you got big and brassy. Nerves to take me on with your puny power. Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. Okay. So he only has one Pokemon in this, but it's a very high-leveled Pokemon. Right, you. Yeah. So we're going to hope this works.
So far, so good. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Dang! Almost one hit quit him. Dang, I wasn't expecting that, guys. <laughs> well, jeez. Grew to level 23. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly any time, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. TM24. Oh, uh, explain it. Eat Jelly Well. Uh, TM24 contains Thunderbolt. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. Alright, so, of course, this is where we're going to end it. Uh, a lot easier than I expected. So at this point, after we got the Thunder Badge, which boosts uh, all of our Pokemon's defense by 12.5% in in in-game battles, uh, despite the game telling you that it boosts your speed, that's actually incorrect. It boosts your defense, not your speed. Um, it also grants you the ability to use Fly outside of battle, um, an HM which we'll eventually get. We get Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt contains Thunderbolt, uh, the best offensive electric type move in the game for its balance. Uh, Excellent 95 power near perfect accuracy. It also has a 10.2 chance of inflicting paralysis, which can be devastating. Although it cannot paralyze electric type Pokemon. The only Pokemon that learns Thunderbolt naturally is Pikachu in yellow. So if you're planning on raising electric type Pokemon such as Zapdos or already have a uh, Pikachu on your red and blue team, this team provides an excellent move that they shouldn't they should go shouldn't go without. Electric type Pokemon should take priority, but if you don't have one, Thunderbolt is widely available to other Pokemon, including Raticate, Nidoqueen, Nidoking, Clefable, Wigglytuff, Meowth, Mankey, and Mr. Mime. Okay, so this is where we're going to go ahead and end it. I think this is a pretty good video. Uh, it's a good comeback. So until next time, um... Adiós, amigos.